Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I'm going to do a tag video today and thank you very much to Honey D. Guzman for tagging me. I love doing her tag videos because they're always a blast. If you've never joined me before, my name is Jennifer and I love designer handbags, luxury designer handbags, and I upload about one to two videos a week about them. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it. This tag is bags with sentimental value. And so I have four of them that I'd like to share with you. These all have such great sentimental value. I can't wait to share this with you. The first one is the Coach City Bag. My grandma, who passed away five years ago, lived to be 101. She loved handbags, and so I get that love from her. The City Bag, I think she got this in the early 1990s. Wonderful bag. Coach leather is incredibly amazing. This leather is still perfect. The brass is hardly tarnished, and look at all those brass details. Still really good. Grandma was five foot three, and so she was shorter, so she just made a knot in the strap to make it shorter. There's the other brass, and then the brass lock. The leather is so pretty still, and she's super practical, and so she loved the back pocket. She traveled a lot internationally, even though she couldn't speak much English. Wasn't even a fright. She was a very, very modern woman. But she went ahead and made an elastic strap by sewing this elastic in. And then so she had a button here so that she could safely put things in and then just lock them in place so that nothing could fall out of that back pocket. Whenever you open the bag, you can see the back side of that elastic that she put. So this goes to the back side of the elastic that she sewed in for that button. The coach leathers, as you know, are the leather back. I forget what sticker she had here, but I love, I love imperfections because they all have a story, but I think she used to keep our phone numbers here so she would remember what our phone numbers were in case she had to dial us, which back then were pay phones. We didn't have cell phones. And then this had a, the city bag had the one flap, and then inside the city bag had a full front compartment and a full inside compartment, as well as a full-size zippered compartment in the back. This is much like the Chanel single flap jumbo, the only difference is it has an entire full front flap. Whenever you open the bag, she's had a Chinese fan because if she got hot, she could use it. And this is for headaches. It's actually menthol and you can buy them in any Chinese grocery store even in the US but if you look at it it's just a tube of menthol and so what you can do is if you have a headache you just rub that on your forehead put that back in so you kind of rub it in up here or up here if you had a, a, a headache I'll leave all that in her bag grandma's been gone now five years she lived to be 101 years old I got her love of bags, obviously, so she loved designer handbags too. Um, these are her tweezers. What else does she have in here? A nail file, because she had long nails. Oh, this is a quarter. Oh, this is a Chinese, this is a Chinese coin. So this definitely is of sentimental value. She would take this with her shopping and every day. So this is her everyday bag. So I don't know if any of you still own a Coach City bag, but it was one of the most popular bags because it was just so useful. All of the Coach bags are very, very well made. The strap was adjustable. The base is still really good. So this is my grandma's bag. Second bag the second bag is going to have to be the medium-large Chanel classic flap in lambskin with black 
black lambskin with gold hardware because this is the bag that I used in my very, very first YouTube video. And she's just been absolutely a joy to use. I use her for church or dates or special events. And I absolutely love her. The third bag is another one of my grandma's bags. This is a beautiful white top handle bag that I would see her use in most of her pictures if she was dressed up. And this bag is absolutely beautiful. There's no designer name or anything on it, but it reminds me of the Kelly Cellier in the size, it would be the size 28, because I measured the distance here, it's 28 centimeters across. The opening is a clasp, the bottom does not have feet. So the clasp works like this. So it just snaps shut and opens by lifting the center. And then you have the inside, which has many different layers. There's an extra pocket, an extra pocket, an extra pocket. The front one is zippered even. And then on the other side, you have another pocket. But I remember her using this in all of her pictures when she was dressed really pretty with a dress on and heels. But I absolutely love this bag. And the fourth and final bag would be my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Mine is in the GM size, this is in the monogram. The reason this is so sentimental is that before I knew that I would be on this journey of loving luxury designer handbags, in 2007 I was in Europe and I saw this bag on different ladies' shoulders. And a lot of the street vendors were selling them outside on the street, the knockoffs. And I didn't know what brand it was, but I absolutely loved the look of it. Some girls had these down. I don't think I ever at the time saw them, you know, cinching them up to make them like this. But I remember thinking that I've always, I always want one. And so fast forward, I think it's been 10 years. I finally got my first one. No, it was longer than that. So fast forward, fast forward, let's see, that was 2007. 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, I hope you enjoyed the sentimental video tag and I would next like to tag Jenny B. I'm really enjoying her channel. If you've never checked her channel out, please check it out. She's got the cutest cat with her. And so um, Sue Mae every day has already been tagged, but I hope she does the tag video as well. So check out their channels. This tag was originally started by Flo in the City and I think it's just a great tag. You all have a great rest of the weekend and have a great week. See you again in my next video.